Yeah. Hey, it's your daily hour with me. We're on TV once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines and then we start talking. We're gonna be here for a whole hour, and uh, that's how it goes. We're gonna talk, make some phone calls. Um, what else here? Maybe listen to some messages. Yeah, it's the last day of Egg Week, which is kind of Easter eggs, uh, and it's going to be the first day here of Nature Week. Nature! That's yeah. great. Nothing like nature. I love nature. I prefer nature to eggs, even oh, though yeah? I guess it's like a part of it, but if somebody give me a choice. If <laughs> you'd rather have all of nature than just some eggs. Yeah. Eggs definitely are a part of nature, but mm -hmm. um, a very small part, although an important part. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Today is Saturday. When was the last time you were here on the program? Well, let's see. I showed up for just a very small introductory portion on Thursday, and then before that it might have been another week before that. So it's, uh, you know, it's been a little spotty lately, but I've been working behind the scenes a little bit, um, getting some stuff going. I uh, finally got the new background tape, as you see. Looks mm. similar right now, but you may have noticed the intro is a little different and a um, couple changes. But uh, we're out of the death week. You know, that was kind of the big thing yeah. was death week. We got like stuck. Death month. Yeah, month. so it's hard to hard to leave once you get to death. You know, death is like a hard thing to escape. I think it was a, month, a whole month of death almost. It was, yeah, it was two and a half weeks, which is pretty much a month, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say we were in death death month. But. No, we're in the new time. New life. I don't know what we really did for egg in Easter week. Not that much. I can't. We, you didn't maybe color any eggs? N no. I, uh, I inadvertently taped over a uh, Easter-themed animation movie. Hmm. Uh, but you probably don't want to show that anyway, but it was called Buttons and Rusty and the Easter Bunny. About a bear and a fox and the Easter Bunny, so. Well. Wow. Chucklewood. It would make more sense in an animal world to have the Easter Bunny. That's true. Although I don't think that having just like an Easter human would be a very, uh, like, celebratory thing. I mean, I guess we have like Christmas human, or, you know, Santa Claus is yeah. kind of a mythical human. Um, what other things are there? I think the bunny is supposed to be like this cartoon thing. Yeah. It doesn't even exist really in reality, right? It's like not even supposed to be a rabbit. The Easter bunny is like this like m like anthropomorphic cartoon rabbit thing. Yeah, that's true. I mean, parents love to, or some parents love to like trick their kids and make them believe in things that aren't there. And so, you know, sometimes I think parents will say that when the kids have gone to Easter egg hunt, it was the Easter Bunny that left the eggs there, sort of like how Santa Claus gave them presents and yeah. the Tooth Fairy left a dollar under your pillow. If you're listening to this, kids, don't worry. You can believe what you want to believe. But are they thinking that there's like a walking cartoon bunny in in reality, or I mean, maybe they I mean they're not use their imagination. Yeah. But like with the Santa Claus, you can believe that you know it's, it's a guy, like a some fat, kind of fat altruistic guy. fat toy maker. Yeah. Makes a little bit of sense, but the bunny thing—that's so totally far out. <laughs> that's yeah, that's out. That's far out. That's out there. That's bonkers. Yeah. They have the Easter Bunny at the mall, and I don't know when they started doing that. Well, like because somebody dressed up in a yeah. human-sized bunny suit. It's like they had Christmas for a long time. That was, that's in like an old-timey tradition, but then they decided to also do the Easter Bunny. That seems scary to me a little bit, but I guess bunnies are kind of cute. So, and especially if kids. Kids just have to have sort of like the idea that it's cool or like fun before they get there, and then they're like, "I can't wait to see the Easter Bunny." Instead of just like suddenly seeing a giant anthropomorphic bunny in front of you, that would be scary, I think. But if they've prepared themselves already to kind of like get ready for it, then I think maybe uh, maybe they'd be okay with it. Yeah, I never visited the Easter Bunny though. I kind of maybe should go get a picture now. I wonder if it's still going to be there on actual Easter. 
Uh, Bird was scheduled to be here today. Yeah, I hear he may have fallen ill. He's sick, though. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry I can't be there, he says. I was want to reschedule for Wednesday. Try calling. Freddy said he can be there. Find out him. Whenever Bird doesn't show up, he always is trying to get, like, substitutes. Yeah? Like, he's like, I'm going to get somebody else to go in there. And Bird, you don't need to be doing that. Thanks anyway, I guess, though. Yeah, that's kind of nice, upper. I suppose. He definitely, you know, he just doesn't want anyone to be uh, alone. Oh, that's okay, Bird. Uh, we have, uh, I got the disembodied head here. Yeah. Uh, you know what the count table head calendar is uh yeah i bet the calendar is right here oh there it is what do we got here you want to put bird down on wednesday well we'll uh, talk to him Confirm about it. it yeah so today is the 19th hello good evening hey bird how you doing today hey um i'm kind of tired you know how are you doing yeah, yeah, I got a little bit of a scratchy throat Scratchy. You're feeling ill. Itchy. Yeah. You know, how do you feel about I'm the idea just, of, like... I think uh, I'm just tired. When things... People say they have a scratchy throat, but if anything else on them is feeling scratchy, they usually say that it's itchy. Mm. But no one ever says they have oh, an itchy yeah. itchy throat. I think because you can't really scratch yeah. the inside of your throat, perhaps. I think it's the only, only thing that becomes scratchy, yeah. Because... A, a scratchy throat and an itchy is not an itch at all. It's not like you you have the urge to 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 get at it. It's like yeah, a little pain in there. Yeah, yeah. Like, what are you gonna use a brush on it? It's a long brush. Scratch your itch. <laughs> yeah. Well, hope you don't get an illness, Bert. It's b the best thing to do is even if you start to feel the inclinings of getting sick at all. Treat it like it's a full out, you know. Get a lot of rest and start drinking lots of water immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Good advice. Thank you. And grapefruits. That's what Dan always tells me. Grapefruits. Grapefruit. Eat lots of grapefruits. Oh yeah. Grapefruits are are so strong that they interact with other drugs. Oh wow. Like, I guess they put that on on pharmaceutical warnings. So go get some of that huh. stuff. Yeah, no grapefruits. They interact with uh, certain types of drugs. Well, as long as you're not taking other certain types of drugs, you're probably better off with grapefruit mm -hmm. than without it. That's for sure. Yeah. It's true. it's going to be the first day of uh, Nature Week here, Bird, and I think that's going to be something that you would be oh. into. Yeah, I love Nature Week. That's great. I'm glad to hear that you're doing that. But you want to reschedule for Wednesday? Yeah, if it's open. Yeah, how about 10 p.m.? Okay. That's great. Sounds good. That's exciting. We're putting you down. Do you think you'll be able to Put shoot some extra nature in between time? I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Very possible. Yeah, uh, go get some of that stuff. I've been enjoying your, uh, your recent videos and pictures. They're very good. Oh. Bird, did we ask you how you like your eggs? What's that? When you go to the place and they say, how you take your eggs? Oh. Over easy, of course. Yeah, how do you take yours? I like uh, scrambled. Sometimes I like to say soft scrambled, which is kind of like a runnier scramble. That sounds good. But uh, mm -hmm. sometimes that's dangerous. You can get it done, you know, sometimes they undercook them a little bit, but kind of nice nice and soft you know i don't really like it when it's scrambled and it's just uh really tough try it out rubbery we we'll just say omelet yeah. omelet's good too yeah and you get some other mm -hmm. things in there other than yeah. just eggs you get like some cheese cheesy eggs mm -hmm. that, that's kind of what i like mushrooms yeah sounds good yeah we're well, we're just about here to get to the first dice game. Do you want to pick a number before we, uh, before you go? Um, give me a four. Is that pen? Yeah. All right, Bird. Oh, look four. at this. This is this is gonna be new. Yeah, something new. Ready for something new? 
Oh, oh, whoa, yeah, yeah one dice. One. A single dice. Oh, and then two and three, and that's what I'm anticipating. <laughs> you figured it out. Yeah, it's a good uh, time here. Okay, so uh, go ahead and get the soundboard ready. We're gonna oh, start. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna start off, viewers. If you've never played the dice game before, what you do is you write a number on your hand. Bird wrote a number on his hand there at home. I wrote one on my hand. Um, you don't have to tell anyone the, the number, but it's also it doesn't have to be a secret either. So um, it's up to you. Then we're gonna roll a dice. What you're trying to do with your numbers, you're trying to anticipate what number is going to be rolled. I'm trying to predict the future. So um, some people say you can even manifest your own number, but that's a little harder to do. So uh, see whatever works for you. We're going to give it a try here. Come on, soundboard. Uh, oh, did you get a number, Bird? Yeah, he picked oh. a four. All right, here we go. So here we go. It's a six. It's a six. You win? Oh, yeah. Look at that. So that's... I really was trying to manifest this time. So that's uh, that's always the way I play. Um, trying to use your brain power to affect reality in a slight way. Sometimes I think that if you can get really good at that, then maybe you can use it to manifest other things in your life, perhaps. you got to start small. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't go the other way and, like, make, you, make me lose more control over other parts of my Some life. Some kind of curse, yeah. But... Only time will tell. It's hard to play with reality like that, you know. Yeah, there might be a cost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you learn to manipulate things with your mind, I think there ha yeah, there must be some kind of otherworldly other forces out there that will go out for the same time. But, but you can't hide from that kind of thing. No. Even though I'm a little bit afraid of otherworldly forces that might come with being able to manifest reality. I think it's worth it. Yeah. You know, it's easy to say that things shouldn't change, but sometimes you just got to try to change things and uh, see what happens. But it's definitely definitely always different, and that's kind of scary. Um, hey, Bert, have you ever tried to manifest reality? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. I think everybody's trying to do that, I guess, to, they call it Jedi stuff, but, you know. Mm. Sometimes you can do it in your dreams, and then you think, was that, a, yeah. was that real? Sometimes, maybe it was. True. Alright, Bernie, you got anything else you want to say today? No, uh, I'll be back. Come on back, like come Terminator? on back. Terminator? I'll be back. I'm just looking at a picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger right now. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the Terminator, okay. It's good. He's back in the movies. Okay, bye, Burb. Bye. I got a little uh, video that I prepared. Uh, I think you might like this. I thought this would be a fine time to watch it. About uh, three minutes long about. Yeah, sounds good. Um, should yeah. be on input three there. and we. I think I plugged it in right. So let's see if this works. Uh, let's see, what's on here? Oh, oh, that's a little bit, uh, that's not right, but I think it's right after this. This is a studio. Is yeah. there supposed to be sound? Um, I don't think we were talking into the mics. Oh, here we go. Let's see. We'll hear a beep. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Welcome back. Uh... uh <laughs> wow! <laughs> Muggin! Hey! Oh, wow! Where? <laughs> Two days in a row! Whoa! Did you <laughs> What's going down, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Carl! Uh, the steward, the basement. Installation. Yeah. Bird, hey, there's Reed and Bird. Jeremy. Uh, oh, the remember kitchen. when you're in the kitchen? No sound. Uh, Jer 
Oh, Alex. Alex. I'm done. What's that? Oh, it was your eye. Yeah, we're in a circle. <laughs> yeah, we're in a circle. Oh. Uh oh, what oh, that was when you used the old background or the old background tape for a day. Yeah. Uh, the Pittsburgh people. Whoa, how long is it? I mean, the, how many days is this? It's like uh, it started on episode. Oh, the first episode of season thirteen, all the way up to the present. Uh, yeah, radio listeners, if I think. Uh, oh, are we talking no, about the radio tomorrow. now? Oh, phew. Yeah. yeah, that's why I wanted to get this in as soon as oh, I yeah. could. Oh, I remember that guy. Muggin. Ha ha ha. Oh, hot fruit. Yeah. Oh, Phil. Phil, come back, Phil. Dan. Oh, uh, you can tell every time it's a week. Yeah. Dan, yeah. Dan comes back. One, two, three. Yeah. Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday. Get ah. Cycle. Cycle. Hey. <laughs> Friday. Hey, hey, look at there we are. Guess wow. what? We're on the radio. Saturday. Sunday and Dan. Yeah, whoa, it worked. <laughs> oh, and look, hey, Luke and Duck Hugger. Yeah. Sam. Wednesday. Pretty soon it'll be Death Week. I think it's Sea Week right now. Yeah, oh yeah, this is Sea Week. Look, I'm in the sea. You know that? Hey! Allie and friends. Whoa. Oh, it's Monday. Monday again. Another week. Yeah, they can make really good motorcycles. Game week? Each of these is an hour. Don't sound right cussing. Ah, uh, Death Week. Or... Oh, give the circle. Oh, Death Week still has the same song. I thought it was going to be a crazy song. It's like a little deeper, maybe, but... The world is a great place. <laughs> Thanks, bird. Bless you. <laughs> Check it, check it out. Yeah, for Easter. Uh... Robin? You know what apocalypse We're getting closer to the present. Yeah, it's getting closer and closer. Oh my God, okay. How far is it going to go? Cool. <laughs> hey, hey, look at that. Back. Bird footage. Bird shaped his head. You notice that, viewers? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, there's the gloves. I should get those out. This is like last, this is all Saturday. Oh, Monday. Last Monday, last Tuesday. Today is Friday, right? Saturday. I love oh, nature. Saturday, Saturday. Wednesday or Thursday? Friday. And. You, you, you. That's and right, now viewers. This one, too. We're back here. Yeah. So, uh. That went all the way up to yesterday. Wow. <laughs> Do you guys, uh, you saw some of those episodes? That's almost like my version of a recap, but, um. Figured since we had just changed the background tape, maybe it was a good time to show that. I We're also so. about to go onto the radio, so pretty soon we might not get to do so much of that kind of purely visual stuff, you know? It's hard to do that. Nobody who was just listening could have told who any of those people were, but viewers, you did see it, so. If we want to do some of that stuff, we're still going to not, you know, we can't just not do that kind of thing, too. Right, we just kind of have to tell the. Um, Whenever we see a video, we just have to do a better uh, job of comment commenting and maybe even describing. So it's like when yeah. you, it's like for the deaf or, or I guess for the blind. blind. Yeah. Yeah. Radio is like for the blind, so maybe they'll be better anyway. Radio for the blind. Maybe we should be getting subtitles when anyway. we get get some interns. But subtitles, what? No. Subtitles okay. wouldn't help. Would they? Not on the radio. Not on the radio, but if they're already doing stuff for the blind, we might as well, you Oh, know. yeah, do stuff for the deaf, too. Yeah. yeah, that might even be not just for people who are hearing impaired, but it's also maybe for those people who are out there at uh, McCoy's. Maybe you're watching this on McCoy's. It's Saturday, so uh, Back Bar maybe is on. I wonder if that guy... You know, I think his name is Ian. Mm-hmm. I wonder if, uh, if we called McCoy's, if we could talk to him. Mm-hmm. Maybe I don't. I don't know if I want to call. I don't you don't like want to call, call the local place. So we could, I guess. Um, He's seen me in there a couple times, but I don't know if he knows that I am on the show or if he just thinks I really like the show. But well, hey, oh, it's. Eight, you want to read this? Seven, oh, info six, time. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. No, it's info uh, time. Spinning. 
Here are our answers some frequently asked questions about the program. You're watching it right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with me. It's called a television talk show on the radio that's recorded right here in Thurston County every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It airs every night on TCTV, channel 22 at 11.30 p.m. and at 2 a.m. on Koa 106.5, 2 a.m. Each episode broadcasts a week after it was taped, so you're watching at 11.30. This episode taped the same weekday of the previous week. If you're watching at 2 a.m., this episode taped the same day of the month of the previous year. You can also watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyone can be on the program, especially you. Why do you have members in the community for content? So give us a call at 360 364 and leave a message. We'll call you back on the next episode. Thank you for watching. Now back to the program. What do you think of that? Whoa, that was how uh, new people must. And that's how they do might it, feel. Know, they get, they, it's like hard to do. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I actually I had to go back a couple lines. At least I knew how to, the, some of the strategy of it. But yeah, some of the some of the things are the same, and some of them have changed. You know, yeah. I just added the the Koa stuff, which is kind of breaks it up. I don't know how exactly how I feel about saying it airs every night on TCTV at 11:30 and 2 a.m. and on Koa. 106.5 at 2 a.m. It's hard to phrase, and it's also a little bit odd that we're even doing that, which is, I think, a good thing, maybe, but it's like, we're we're on two mediums at the same time with two different episodes. Yeah. You could tune in the radio and watch the TV at the same time, and it would be a, a total mess. <laughs> <laughs> I've like, actually what? done that before. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, we've been, and except for uh, before, you know, if you're watching this now, um, when you tune in to Koa, it'll be showing. If you tune in after, wait. I don't know. Because if you watch, if the Koa episode is going to be the episode that aired on TV. Wait, should the Koa episode be the episode that airs that same day? So you watch it at 1:30 or 11:30 at night, and then the next day is the audio of the episode that's going to air on TV at 11:30 tomorrow. What do you think about that? Is that the way to go about it? It'd be just as easy as doing it any other way. I and then it would stay true to the day of the week, that? you know? I'm not sure. I think that might have been the, um, the tape. Oh, is it still playing? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, what is it? Oh. Yeah. 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 Um, the does that make sense? To what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that it, the episode that is... So if you listen to the radio... And when you watch TV, it'll be the one that already played. Yeah, that's, uh, I guess, the only problem with it. But you're either watching it before... I thought, so if that's the case, then this is going to be the first radio episode then, right? Oh, I guess so. No, so no, 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 no. It'd be the day after tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I thought... I, this is what I was thinking, is was that it was going to be... The 11.30 episode was going to play that again. So if you watched... If you, right. Like, didn't watch it on TV, but there's no reason why it should be the other way. That's just like what I had in mind. I just can't decide because you know the 2 a.m. on TV is the same day of the month of the previous year, and then the week ago is the same day of the week. But I guess it would. It doesn't matter. It's kind of. I'm, not sure, I'm not sure which just makes more sense. I though. think it's the same day of the week because I count 2 a.m. as part of the day. The, the first day. The previous day. Really. Yeah. Okay. That that makes sense then. To me, so really, the day, way. yeah, the day doesn't switch over until the sun comes back up. Yeah. You know, it's the nighttime. But I think the entire night counts as the previous day, kind of. Yeah. Or maybe if you don't even go to sleep, then you're still in the other day anyway. So That's like, true. Until you go to sleep, it's other days. No one's going to wake up at 2 a.m. Like, after having gone to s- Very few people, at least, are going to, yeah. like, go to sleep at, like, 6 in the evening and then wake up at 2 a.m. and listen to the program and say, whoa, this is the wrong day. Yeah, that, I think it, it's most going to be people staying up. Staying up, people. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I don't know if you've been hearing us on the radio already, but we're not even there yet. I guess that's going to be tomorrow. But I think tomorrow's Sunday, mm-hmm. and at the, at the Sunday at 2 a.m. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, it will be, because... No, because today is going to be a skip... Or today we're going to... Like, today's episode at night right. is going to be us live. Right, exactly. So, oh, hey, yeah. So if you're watching this on TV, you can tune in to us live at 2 a.m. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, this is great. So if you're watching this right now, like, literally you on TV, watching this at 11.30 on the 26th, uh, there on your couch. 11.50 or uh, yeah. 55 for you right now. 
um, then it's it's uh, in in what like two hours we're gonna actually be live to call in. You can listen to us on the radio. You can call in. You can get live on the radio at 2 a.m. and talk to us, and then uh, your voice will be on TV and the radio at the same time. Cool, 106.5. Yeah, do you guys know about that? Uh, try it on your radio dial. It's a Thurston County thing, but it's kind of low. It's a low power station, so um, in my car, I can only pretty much get it if I'm downtown or like a little bit on the east side or a little bit on the west side. Um, so if that if you're having trouble actually even finding the station, just go onto their website and then you can stream it live. Uh, but trust us, it is live on the radio. They're trying to get a bigger uh, antenna. So, but. All right. Hey, let's call Sam. He's scheduled to be here tomorrow. Great. It's gonna. Be, yeah. Here it is. Yeah. Earth. No, Nature Week. Nature Week. You yeah. know, I think I decided that it was going to be Nature Week because of Earth Day. Oh, yeah? But Earth Day was last week for us. Oh, yeah. It's on the same. That was a, like a big combo uh -oh. hall. Hey, hey, Sam. Hey. We're on TV. How are you doing today? I'm magical. Oh, wow. That's, that's the best response. That sounds better than good and stuff. <laughs> Extra well. Yeah, I'm about to about to hit the sack. Oh wow! About to go to Dream Central. Sleep is the most magical time of the night. Yeah, dude, I'm pretty stuck. And once you have kids, man, like sleep becomes like this amazing thing. Like it's really awesome. When I love going to bed. <laughs> Great. And then you got to convince your kids to go to bed. They don't want it. You're like, go to bed, kids. Kind of like no, and then when you you know you get you get the kids, and then you get to go to bed. Yeah. And you say, and kids, like, going to bed is a privilege. Go to bed. Uh. <laughs> so you're scheduled to be here tomorrow. Yeah, I think we said 8:30. Yeah. Cool? I really like that time. I really like 8:30s on Sundays. Oh great. It's working really well. That yeah, works for me usually too. Yep. So late. Um. And yeah. And you can get your sleep. It's going to be the first day of the radio tomorrow. It's going to be our first in-studio radio day. Oh, so I do I go to the same place, though? Yeah. It's all the oh, same. Okay. The only difference is it's okay. going to be on the radio after tomorrow, starting tomorrow. So you gotta you got to think, oh, okay. think cool. audible, you know. it's all, uh, We're trying to maybe uh, appeal to the radio audience for a little bit. Oh, Okay, I'll, I'll try to be appealing. <laughs> oh, you're always appealing, but, you know... Uh, audio, but, you know, I don't know. It's, it's pretty much an audio show anyway. We really don't have to change, uh, well, anything, I guess. I'm trying to... Th maybe the commercials. Maybe we got to... No, oh. I think the commercials work, right? They're all... Uh, yeah, I guess I included the commercial for... Uh, what is it? New Moon? New, oh, New Moon. That one That one doesn't have any audio. So we're going to have to Say narrate. New Moon. What yeah. does it say? New Moon Cafe. We're you know what? You know what I, I did today? What's that? I deleted my Facebook account. Whoa. Oh, it's still there. You, they, you can't delete anything like that. It's, you just deactivated it. Yeah, I deactivated it. But they don't let you delete it. Once you delete it, they save all your stuff, and they, and then when you come back, they're like, oh, you were back or something, you know? And they, they save all your old yeah. stuff. Well, Forever. I guess I deleted myself from going on to Facebook. What yeah. finally uh, pushed you to that level where you decided it was the end, no more? Yeah. Well, I have, like, an addictive personality, you know? And, like, I get, like, caught up in, like, all these different discussions. I oh. feel like I gotta, like, prove everybody else wrong, you know? Hmm. I always thought, yeah, Facebook was, like, for pictures. But... Yeah, I guess, I like I guess some people definitely too. get into like big conversations. I know some folks that do that. I can see that can be. Um, yeah, well, last night Carl was talking about this. Yeah, he, he had a. I mean, Carl was very into that thing, but he had something negative happen to him on it, and it really affected him. Oh no! So you gotta look yeah. out for that kind of thing sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird because I think people have been like getting to know each other and like talking to each other 
in pretty much the same way. Well, like goodbye, Egg Week. Time. We're moving into a new week. Hey, I will. I will see you tomorrow. Can oh wait, me? wait. Do you want to pick a number before you go to bed? It's uh, six is my number. Hey, right, hey you already won five hundred points. All right, here we go. We're gonna roll the dice real quick, and then you can uh, you can sign off and go to sleep. Hope you have wonderful <laughs> dreams. Here's to, uh, let's hope you win again on the dice. Board. Uh, you didn't get any more points. We got 500 points. Bye, Sam. Bye. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, Freddy. Bye. There it goes. Disembodied head has a one. I don't, I, Doing all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Disembodied head, you happy with your 500 points? Yeah. You're not even real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all the stuff that we had scheduled on the phones, calling uh, Sam and checking the messages. It's Nature Week. Wow. So uh, nature, nature is harsh. You know, uh, it's beautiful, but it's also dangerous. I feel like a lot of human uh, progress has been trying to counteract the harsh parts of nature like diseases and lack of shelter and uh, scarcity of food, which are all parts of nature just as much as like a beautiful tree or a pretty flower, you know? Yeah. That's what I always think of when it's Earth Week. It's good to go plant a tree, but at the same time, you got to remember that the Earth while it, it needs to be taken care of by us, it's also a very strong and dangerous, willful place on its own. Yeah. I think it's it's very self-sustaining, and people are always, like, worried about nature, and I think it's, you know, a cycle, and whatever happens to nature, it's always going to come back. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think in the world there's been a lot of cycles of the planet, lots of heating and cooling, and oxygenating and you know new life and uh things going extinct all of these things are part of nature yeah now even you know uh it's a little callback to a previous episode but um if you guys were watching i don't know it was a sunday maybe it was the sunday of spaghetti week the episode's called the end of the world and robin was here uh she was talking two weeks about, ago yeah. yeah she was talking about you know, all this methane that supposedly is going to, like, uh, exponentially warm the earth and, and make everything really hard for humans. But even that, I don't know if she actually said this, but uh, it, I'm reminded of it because of Earth Day and because of Nature Week. Um, while it's a net, it would, if it does happen, it would be a net loss for humans and maybe other forms of life. Nature itself and the earth is going to survive and continue on, you know. Um, yeah. So these are, these are things that nature can do. I wonder if nature counts as this plant, you know, because you got a lawn, and most people, unless you live in the city, you can look out the window and see maybe a tree or something. Yeah. I know I can see some trees. Definitely in the Pacific Northwest, that's uh, nice. I've definitely, I mean, not, and it's only been recently that I've even got to see places like this, but um, I feel like there are places in bigger cities like New York, uh, as a specific example, where you certainly could go quite a ways without seeing any plants or trees in mm -hmm. nature and sometimes i wonder if that's like part of why some people really like living there maybe nature is not what they want to see or i don't know i'm not sure they some don't people have plants don't in the on the sidewalk and the holes or something yeah i guess that's true I, yeah and then like the weeds i think the weeds are my favorite form of nature because they're so persistent and uh, they uh, get into places that people don't really want them but nobody can actually stop them you can't stop them from your garden. You can pull them up, but they're always going to get there. They grow up in the sidewalks. They break up through the streets, and uh, that's pretty cool. I wonder why nature isn't full of more weeds. You know, if you walk into, like, the forest, you look around, where are the weeds? They're, 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 they aren't there. Yeah. They're, like, maybe they only exist with grass or something. They're definitely, uh, if they were in a cultivated area, a lot of the plants you see out in nature would be considered weeds, like... Things like uh, nettles and miner's lettuce and uh, maybe, I don't know, dandelions. I see yeah. them out there and like they're things that are considered weeds, but 
Um, I think the dandelions are the thing I'm thinking of, and it seems yeah. like they're so per per like that's where the weeds are when you're in your yard. I think they're the dandelions. Yeah, I think through the ability of like humans trying to cultivate these very intentional spaces for like just specific types of nature, it opens up. Like they make essentially a niche for like grass, but then they don't let anything else grow there, and so but it's actually like a good place for so many different things to grow. So yep. then all the plants that can get there will try to come and grow there anyway. Like one of the things, my dad is a biologist and he said something about there not being any empty habitat, which is means like if there's a place that an animal or a plant can grow and live, then unless there's some other kind of thing making that habitat not inhabitable for it, it'll probably fill that niche and be there. So yeah, uh, that's why sometimes if you get like, nature in your house where you don't want it you know like a mouse or i don't know bugs or something like that like it's important to look for the things that are creating the habitat that lets it thrive there if you're wanting to get rid of it or you can just celebrate it because look for the it's source. nature yeah but don't celebrate past they're dangerous to your health properly i think yeah if you if, if you have a, a if you see bugs or, or like um mouse mice in your house I, th I think you should probably go and do something about that really well i don't know you got because that's you got to keep nature out of your house because it's could they could cause disease though. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. Let me get some go into nature. We gotta go go do some camping or something. And oh, that sounds hit good. It, hit hit the nature. But you know, are we is nature just part of us though? Or we, we are we, sort of nature. Yeah. We're the only only things to you know try to walk up and get out of nature. Every every other being on the planet other than people. They're still right in it, I guess, unless we've removed them from ourselves. Yeah. Um, you know, I actually, we have that camera on a stick. I actually, I'm not sure where my GoPro went, but I, I recently got the means to install a real tripod head onto that um, camera, mm -hmm. that stick that we were carrying around with the camera on a stick episode. Yeah. But I don't know. I guess those take some, some extra editing. I don't know if that... Uh, I mean, we did, we've done a, a camera on a stick episode where it was single camera but I guess it, the only thing it was audio syncing but yeah, that wouldn't be too hard maybe we can get that to go again that'd be pretty fun yeah during nature week it's possible maybe we could just go back and look at pictures of nature try to remember nature from the past um, yeah I think I think I did, yeah wanted to do nature week because of Earth Day but that was probably a mistake but that was a mistake. Well, because it's still Nature Week, which is fine. It's it's fine that Nature Week is this week, but the timing is incorrect on my part, I think, because because of the whole week system. Yeah. Last week, wait, no, no, is is Earth Day on the twentieth? Earth Day is on the twentieth. That's for us tomorrow. Yeah. What what this is I'm a little com I'm confusing myself now a little bit. So after Nature Week, what week is it? Radio Week. Oh yeah yeah that makes sense that's good. Oh it's because Easter, that's why, Easter and Earth Day are on the same day. Yeah. That's very confusing. Hmm. So maybe. Uh, well I mean we're gonna we're gonna stick with Nature Week definitely. Okay. It's already. It's already started. We've already begun. It's already begun. It, it's like camp. yeah. I guess we started to we started it. Once you start something, it's important and to follow through. Once it's written down, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter why. The week is fine. The reasoning behind the week <laughs> is not right. Sound. Yeah, so if it was a mistake, as you said, it's not a mistake that is actually like a problem. Yeah. It's just um, there was maybe just a confusion that led to a circumstance that is not normal in the way that we do the weeks but it's fine yeah it's great nature is here it's it, natural for these kind of things to happen yeah i found a way and then what or life finds a way like jurassic park is what he says yeah life finds a way i don't think the dinosaurs are real that's nature maybe too maybe yeah we should get a plant i was thinking about trying to grow i mean i tried to do this in the past though but grow a plant and then we could try to watch it yeah or do one of those like uh you know taking pictures of it and or tell a time lapse kind of thing plant time there could be we could uh, put it into the background tape. I Although that's also not a very radio thing to do. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I think we could describe the plant yeah. every day. That's, that's a good thing to try to do. You work Five, on descriptioning. Four, three, oh, yeah. We could two, describe the plant time. One.
Radio Towers. New Moon. New Moon Cafe. Dance Holy Dance. Dance Holy Dance. Live TV Dance Party. First Friday of each month, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. TCTV Studio A. 440 Yager Way. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's quiet again, huh? Volume. Featuring the song. Just to be less hardcore. Yeah. It's full of fun to be hard. Private memory. Double back. Private memory from Real Meadow. Available at these fine retailers. Coming up on the next episode of the program. Yeah, hey everybody. It's the commercial. Oh, eggs. And. It's Nature Week. It's not Eggs Week anymore. It's the uh, end of yesterday. But we probably. We talked about more about eggs than we did. Oh, we did talk about them anyway. And we talked to Mr. Ginsu about important scientific stuff. There's a guy from the Egg Factory. Mm -hmm. Isaac, hi. Shout out. Check us out at 11.30 and 2 a.m. on TCP Channel 22 and 106.5 COA uh, Radio Week. Oh, hey. Welcome back to your daily hour with me. Yeah. Oh, stop. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Too kind. Thank you, viewers. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a good... That was a, Good was to be back from the commercials, though. Do you remember those... Uh, those the the last couple of weeks here we've been in a hardcore punk hard, rock commercials. hardcore me- punk rock death zone, which is a good time you know for a while. But then you once it starts getting normal, you know once it 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 got to the point where I forgot about what was regular. Yeah. And then going back to it, so it's good to you know uh, visit this dark sp- space. Sometimes when things uh, you, they change, at first they seem really different, and then suddenly they seem as if they had been that way the whole time, and then when you go back to the old way, suddenly it's new and fresh, and there's all kinds of, uh, you can re-experience it again, enjoy it, like it was uh, new entirely. Yeah. It's, it's natural. That's a natural thing. You know, <coughs> I was so excited about the new... Um, Commercials. I, um, I was gonna get up and take a take a stretch. I forgot to do that. Did you oh do yeah. anything on the commercial break there, viewers? Did you get a snack? Hopefully, you didn't uh, miss the exciting uh, commercial for tomorrow. That's kind of cool. That's the first radio episode. Oh yeah, those are gonna play on the radio too. The yeah commercials, oh, the commercials. for the next day. Oh, you're gonna go get his stretch on. Let's call some McDonald's here. We're going to call some McDonald's in California today. Let's call um, San Quentin. That's a prison. Quentin. Here it is. San Quentin, California. <coughs> McDonald's. Oh, this is actually in Mill Valley, California. Maybe there's no an actual San Quentin proper because I think it's a prison town. Maybe. Calling this McDonald's. Oh, hey McDonald's. Do you guys have the Shamrock Shakes right now? Oh, not having it. That's it. Yeah, I think you know, I heard a hang up, right? Wow. Maybe, maybe they don't. Have maybe them. I had I've talked to that guy in the past or something. It's possible. You know, there's only so many McDonald's. It's almost seems to be the amount that is almost limitless, you know? Yeah, but maybe we're crossing the thresholds. I heard there's over 12,000. Wow. McDonald's for you. How may I help you? Hey, McDonald's. Do you guys have those shamrock shakes right now? Uh, not right now. The machine's uh, cleaning right now. Oh, but you have the syrup in there? 
Huh? Do you gonna have it when your machine's done? Uh, no, we're about to close. No, you don't have it at all when it, it's the flavor at all in the store. Hello? Yeah. Oh, no? No. Oh. What about the pies? You guys gonna get the new pies? Yeah, we have pies. New ones, though? You got peaches cre and cream? Uh, we have the strawberries and cream and the apple pie. Do you know when the peaches one is gonna come in? I heard there's gonna be peaches pie. What was that? I heard that you guys are gonna get a peach pie, but I'm waiting for them to come out. Oh, uh, I actually haven't heard about it. Uh, hey, have you had the strawberry pie? Is it pretty good? What kind of cream is in there? Strawberry cream. Oh, uh, strawberry flavor? Yeah. Oh, great. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. People just make stuff up sometimes. I'm sure they don't know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> strawberry flavored cream. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that does sound good. I would, uh, I would eat that. Strawberry, like, whipped cream. It's like, maybe they can put, like, I think if you put stuff into, like, heavy whipping cream and you try to whip it up, it doesn't probably work, right? I don't know. Definitely, I mean, I'm sort of imagining sort of like, what about strawberry milk if you made that into cream, right? Yeah, or I got, or strawberry syrup. Because I, I know I used to put, as a child, I had, like, the bottle of strawberry syrup that you put in your milk. And oh, yeah. And it into strawberry milk. Yeah, definitely. Like a Nesquik chocolate strawberry syrup not chocolate and strawberry syrup but it's like chocolate syrup and exactly, strawberry yeah. yeah i used to put that on ice cream that's um that was a good treat so maybe you can put that into whipped cream but i think if you put it into the whipped cream it might mess it up now like does it does, does it start out as milk and then it goes turns into cream after it, it's already milk and then it turns into maybe butter or cheese like how does it how does the, the like steps through dairy go it goes like Milk, right? Milk yeah, is starts the base. off as milk. Always starts up as milk. And then, what do you do to make it cream? Do you shake it up? Sometimes I thought that. I think you don't shake it up. Oh. And then you get it off the top. Doesn't it like? Oh. Doesn't all the fat go to the top? Cream and then you, of the crop. Yeah. Or with butter, you, butter you got to churn. They probably have machines to churn it, but I remember maybe going to some kind of fair where yeah, is it like? Somehow, I think you just put milk. I think you put cream into the thing. Ah, so and then it goes milk, cream, butter. Yeah, I don't know where cr about cream. I think the cream's on the top. Yeah, or something. And that then you put sense. the cream into the thing, and then instead of turning it into whipped cream, it turns into butter somehow with the with the whole thing. I don't. I'm not really sure how those butter churns work. Maybe I gotta go back to those county it's fairs. So weird that butter is milk. Just milk, or it's like. I don't know. Yeah, because I don't know. Cheese is like extra enzymes and stuff. They add to, stuff to, to it and then it like let it sit and then they like put it on a cheesecloth. But how does it become milk or butter? I don't know what, how the, what the churning process is. Like, and how did they discover? Did it, was it discovered naturally? Did it like somehow they got it shaken up, shaken up milk? I mean, for, it for almost makes sense that you can like discover you could drink milk. That makes sense to me. Because well, that's a you drink milk from. Nature, yeah, because that's like you're born, you drink your uh, like uh, mother's milk, and then you see the baby cows drinking their mother's milk, and you say, how different could it possibly be? Yeah, I want some of that. It makes sense, animal stuff. Um, but then, yeah, to do other stuff. I mean, there's a lot of anything you could like. How did they think of doing that? That's yeah, like, gets uh, pretty wild. But they, you know, people had a lot of time to do to figure out that stuff. I heard something about, like, I think cheese was from, like, animals, like, stomach enzymes. Because they put it in, they use animal stomachs wow. for storage. Oh. Or something. And then they yeah. put the milk in there. Oh. And then they, it turned into cheese. I guess and then they ate it anyway. Even the original water bottles were, right? Like, those, yeah. uh, those, like, you still see that you can get them at the, uh, like, camping stores. They look like, like. I don't know. They look kind of like a, a lima bean or like a kidney bean, maybe. Yeah. And but I think they're there to represent. They're like shaped that way because it used to be an G actual guts. animal's guts. Yeah. Pretty messed up. Humans have done some really weird stuff. Well, you gotta you gotta use all the parts of animals. That's true. Hey, it's time. Oh. Oh wow! That sh that sh that shock like it was audible. 
Ouch. I just wow. got shocked on my chin. I heard that was like knocked out the whole system. I, let me show you viewers what I did. McDonald's have you? Hey McDonald's, do you guys have those <laughs> strawberry pies right now? Uh, let me see. Hold on. Oh wow, that is exposed. I touched the ex that part to my chin. No, I don't have any more strawberry pies. Oh, do you know if you're gonna get any more in? Uh, wait till tomorrow morning. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, so yeah. I, I completed the circuit. Uh, am I still live? Hello? Echo? M McDonald's? Uh, hello? I think they're gone. I completed the circuit with my chin. Yeah, look out. Got a shock. Three dice. Freddy and the uh, head are tied. Well, oh! Oh, d again, really? Uh, this time, this time I got shocked by the camera, holding the camera and the mic at the same oh, time. Oh, no. There's exposed parts on the camera, too. <laughs> See that there where the, the zoom rocker fell off? Yeah, that's also exposed metal that somehow, I think, just holding the two things at the same time, bad idea. Yeah, so. that's a circuit. Maybe we should get some uh, tape. So we got uh, a three, a two, and a four, which means that we got... Uh, combining them all together. We didn't get any fives today. Was that, that your number, Kenny? I uh, had five, yes. Yeah. So we one, got... One, one... Or one, three, three, oh, two, oh. four, six. So the threes have it, but I don't think anyone has threes. Bird got a... F was chose a four. Sam and I both had six, and the disembodied head has one. So that means, really, you're the big winner today because you're here. That's true. And I would have tied it... You know, I, I would have shared the win if we had to battle... Uh, but I'm, you know, I'm happy to, I'm happy to take the win and, and, uh, Even though the three people tied for a win, you really won. Bird kind of won on the phone and disembodied head doesn't really count because it is not a real thing. Yeah. But, you know, that's, count this one for the guests and the, the guests and the callers were the winners today. Disembodied head will do whatever we say, isn't that right? Yeah! <laughs> I bet I can even make the disembodied head say yes to anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's call some more McDonald's. Sounds good to me. Here we go. We'll call the next one. The, um, there's actually some people named McDonald's or something. This one's in... Whoa, this McDonald's on McDonald Ave. Whoa. Oh, wow. In Richmond, California. Oh, you know what I saw outside in front of my house? I don't know. I don't think this is going to show up very well, but... I took a picture. Speak Like, hearing McDonald's on McDonald's Ave kind of reminded me. I don't know if this is going to work. This viewfinder is tiny, so... We can try to take a look at it anyway. It'd be worth it. It'd be relevant. I'm not going to say McDonald's on McDonald's Ave. Or I'm not, maybe I'll ask them what street they're on. Hi, McDonald's. Can I help you? Hey, McDonald's, what street are you on? I'm sorry? What street are you on? I can hear you. What street are you on? What street I have? I have or what? What's the address? What's the street? That you're on? Oh, they knew. They knew what I was getting at. They, they, <laughs> uh, I can't tell what it is. It's a McDonald's truck. It's a, it was right up front of my house. It's, I'm it has sorry, a big picture of Ronald McDonald on it. And, uh, it like pulled up right in front of my house and it, was like I don't know. It says something like Ronald McDonald Mobile or something. Whoa! And then I asked them because I was driving, I was leaving, and they actually took the parking spot that I was just in. And uh, I said, "What are you doing? Where's Ronald McDonald?" I asked them that, and then they said that they already dropped him off somewhere. Which I don't really know if that's true, but that's what they said. Uh, and so that's McDonald's car. Driving down McDonald's Avenue to McDonald's, Ronald McDonald. All right. That's, uh, we can keep calling the McDonald's, I guess. I'm still trying to get some beef this oh, is yeah? like a This is a callback from Spaghetti Week still, though. But oh. So I, you're trying to get that maybe from convenience stores or something? Yeah, I've been calling some convenience stores. But I actually want to go to the store and eat some beef roni, But the only time I think about it is here on the program. When I start making these calls to the McDonald's or convenience stores, oh. I start thinking about the stuff, and then I start thinking about beef roni. And then I think to myself, every time I'm on the program talking about this beef roni, I say, 
I'm gonna get some beefaroni, and I go to a grocery oh. store almost every single day. Wow. So this is not just like some kind of a. Uh, this is you're not just doing this to make conversation. You're actually thinking that you want beefaroni in real life. Yeah, yeah, I want some now. I want some, and I would want some at other times of the day. I, it just does not occur to me at all. Uh. I got to get a list or like a something, but I don't know when I'm gonna go to the store. I just. <laughs> You know, because I, I usually just get stuff in, like, single-serving stuff if I can. Yeah. So I go to the store almost every day to eat. You'll see it. You you go to the store, you look at the things that are there in front of you on the aisles, and then that's what you get. Yeah. That's a good way to do it. That's a, I never know. I never make a list. I have a hard time knowing what I actually want to uh, eat Yeah. all the time. So I definitely do it kind of whim-based. Um, I don't know. how my, I'm going to write beefaroni on my forehead, and then <laughs> people are going to start asking me, like, hey, what's... What? Why do you have beefaroni written? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I remember now. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get some beefaroni. I um, think it's, it might be... Some people put notes on their hands. Yeah, I've but done if, that. If you put it on your face, other people see it. <laughs> yeah. It's, that's good. I like, like that. Like it reinforces. I think extra. Manifesting it right next to your brain. It's like you can't wipe it. It's like a, a social thing. You can't wipe it off your head until you have it. Yeah. Or a goal if you want to, you know, I don't... I don't promote having goals no but if you were to have a goal you could write it on your first face yeah uh if you have a way to that you try to remember things viewers you can call this number 360-836-4384 if you want but you can let us know sometimes uh maybe you write that number on your forehead and then you can remember to call i think people say what's that number we're gonna have to remember to uh say the number yeah more often yep Exactly. Uh, viewers, I know you can see the number. It's up there above our heads for the whole hour. Yeah, so if you hear us say the number a lot more in the next couple weeks, that's because, remember, we're also broadcasting on the radio. So uh, we got to make sure that the viewers or the, r the radio callers know the numbers so that they can call in. I think, what, what do they do uh, on the radio? They uh, w they say to say it, what, like every five minutes or something? Yeah, that would be a lot. Yeah? Maybe every... Th that's five minutes? That's only... That's only five to, or uh, that's only six times in the whole hour. Oh, okay. Right? Or is it twelve times? Five. No, it's twelve times. Five, ten, yeah. fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Yeah, twelve. That's, that's still twelve is not a lot. Too much. I think is that so a lot? ten. Ten would be six if we said every ten minutes, and that would correspond with the things that we already have. Yeah, that's true. So oh we, yeah, every ten minutes, just say the number. So every just every time. time a thing happens. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and the commercial break, you can say it before the commercial break, and then if you know. And then they can call in, and we can talk to them during the commercial break, and then get ready to, you know, come back from the program. Um, you know, it's getting really close, and I actually did have something I wanted to say, and I'm not just saying that. Uh -huh. uh, oh, that's quiet. Got to got to work on the levels here. Um, yo, everybody, if, next time if you have a car, some of you might have a car. Next time you're in your car, uh, and you go to start your car. Uh, check your headlights. Check to make sure you don't have a headlight burned out. I had a headlight burn out on me recently, and I noticed it, thankfully, because I saw it in a reflection. And then today, oh, and so then I put my high beams on because I didn't want to go put a new light in yet. Uh -huh. And then today I realized that the other head, the other headlight went out too, and it wasn't even working with the high beams. So now I don't, I can't. It's bad to drive at night. So uh, make sure to check that, viewers. Do a little walk around your car if you have a car. I think we're going to be putting maybe the MP3s on the internet. Starting tomorrow too, because uh, we're gonna have them, we might as well. Yeah, that's a good point. So uh, start get, trying that out. Maybe if you're watching this on TV, check out the audio version. See how the radio listens to it. If you're a TV watcher, you can put it in your MP3 player and listen to it on the go. Nine, eight, seven, Thanks, robot voice. Thanks, uh, Sam and four, McDonald's three, and uh, Bird. One time is up. Whoa! Episode number and date. Day of the week, thank you. Oh, TVs, look at this. This does, look at this. Dick, background. Thanks, computers. I remember all this stuff. Whoa, I remember this too. Thanks, Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. Check it out. Phones, call the number. Leave a message. Get on TV. Crew. You guys want to be on the crew? I'm doing a thing, Ken, if you want, though. UFBI, FBI, thanks. CCTV, th check it out. Whoa, the baby.com, it's like a feeling. Jordan E, fabulous. There's some county, Washington State. Yeah, USA. Viewers that you're watching, thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Mm, bye. Bye.